water cycle. Okay, so you can see here in the water cycle, the sun is already doing its thing. It's shining on the, it's already shining on the water, so it's gonna cause that to evaporate. You can see, you can also see that plants are also transpiring and the water is evaporating. That makes clouds. Yeah, you can see that you can see that as the plants and water keep on transpiring, the clouds will eventually grow in size and become stratus and nimbus clouds. Usually, usually when this happens, it's a little bit of a condition called overcast. Uh, this is usually what happens. This sort of thing happens. You can see the sun is still shining, but this time the clouds are starting to really take on more water, but then they eventually get too heavy and they start having this effect that we all know as rain. And now you can see that the rain has stopped and of course the process restarts. So that's it for the water cycle. Now, now because of this project, I eventually have to do another one on nutrient cycles. So as you can see here, that's the nitro it's a nitrogen cycle, which practically a lot of you know which practically a lot of you know it's a really big and complicated cycle, and as you can see, well, it's a cycle and you saw the point. And the carbon cycle, not as complicated, but, well, that's it.